Hey guys, it is currently 2.05 in the morning, and I am one tired cryptid. Tonight we are going to be playing a little game called Dial Town. Heard about it earlier, I want to say early last month. It's been sort of on my radar ever since. Don't know a ton about it, I know it is wacky, weird, and also a dating sim. Uh, and... Honestly, those three things sound absolutely fascinating. So, uh... Oh, the other big thing. Uh, you have a phone for a head. Uh, so does everybody else. There's nothing weird about that. That's just a fact of life in this dial town. Uh, I saw some somebody in a clip where a, uh, where a Nokia for, for a head... And honestly, I just, that's what sold me. So, uh, yeah. Enough rambling on my part. Let's hit new game. So, okay. Select a god awful chapter to experience. Chapter 1 and 2. Datables met. 0 4. Chapter 3. Uh, oh, that's a lot of things to do. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna. St Start with this one. You know, the beginning. Uh, would you like to skip Dial Town's intro? Uh, available on repeat playthroughs. Ah, drats, I've been had. Uh, I've never actually played this game, but I did start it up to make sure that everything was working fine. Uh, I merely quit out, though, so. No. Your spoons. Nice, funky spoons. Hello. Howdy. Welcome to Dial Town, phone dating sim. Are you the are you the game dev? I think you're the game dev. You must now answer this hound's questions three. Alright, let's do it. Is there any particular reason that you're speaking in all caps? Wait, am I me right now? Or me right now? Uh... I, I want to know which one I am. If he is him, am I me? <laughs> Do I look sober enough to answer that question accurately? <laughs> you look like a fucking hound. That's as hurtful as it is accurate, you know. Sorry, buddy. Alright, now, if you'd shut up, I can ask you what your name is. Uh. Uh. Oh, right. Anywho, what's your name? <laughs> okay, uh, Fongin? Fonginji? Fongini? Fongini. Is it Italian? Is it is it like fake Italian? You know what? Let's let's keep it. Let's keep the original. Going for the vanilla name option, are we? Actually, no. Vanilla isn't the right word. Vanilla is sweet, unique, makes for good ice cream. Beige. That's just mean. That that's just mean. You've chosen the beige of Dialtown player names. <laughs> I, I'm curious as well. If I go back and select beige as my name, will you react differently now? You know I'll crash the game if you do. Okay. Anywho, second question. Select a head. Note, head selection only affects compatibility with dateable characters, and doesn't directly indicate gender. That's the next question. Why are they stitched? Why? Ooh. Wait, okay. Nectar? Though, those are... Dog man. Nectar. Dog man. Do do do. <laughs> okay. 
157243F. Okay, we're going to go with this one. <laughs> nice. Enjoy having to use your own head to write smut fan fiction just to be able to afford the occasional glass of turnip water. Sounds kinky, to be frank. Amazing. I've never wondered if it was possible to castrate a player before. Uh, cope, dog dude. Cope. Now, final question. Sorry, my voices are all over the place for them. Uh, what gender do you want to be? Note, gender only affects how you're referred to in dialogue. It doesn't affect the NPCs you can date or restrict what endings you can get. Nice. Inclusive. Respect. Now you can be a boy, he, him, his. A girl, she, her, her. Not she, her, hers? Okay. Be <laughs> bewildered senior citizen. They, them, their. Other. Fill in the blank. Uh, am, am boy. I am a lad. I'm a little dude. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, enjoy having the innate ability to open pickle jars, I guess. Oh no. Oh, I gotta. I, I have to. <laughs> oh, I hate saying this. Thanks, Daddy Doggo. Winky face. What did I say about calling me? Alright then, get out of my sight. Aye aye, Captain. Oh, is that me? Oh, that's me. Hmm. <laughs> it's me, a sinful creature. Seems I'm alive again. Yeah! Oh. Darn. I hate it when I do that. Hmm. Egg. Okay. My testes are firm and ripe. Must be getting ready to hatch. The time for reproduction is now. What the fuck? Who the fuck is that? I must find a dank, dark pit to lay my eggs in. That's disconcerting. Fairground. What are you doing at the fairground? What, what are we doing at the fairground? Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. <clears throat> Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. I don't like that. Well, I like carnival food, but... Yes. Okay. All right. I must go to the carnival. Fair enough. <laughs> Mission gained, go to the fairgrounds. Okay. Oh, look, we're here already. Well, there we have it. The carnival. So close, yet so far. Must gain entry. Must penetrate defenses of mile high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly a model. Bastard narrator! Need to lay eggs! Okay, why don't you just calm down? Well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy, it just might work. Okay, Th this is fine. Apparently, we are morons. <laughs> Two for one, no refunds. Please don't bang on the glass. It scares Jerry. Uh, I'm going to assume that this is Jerry. Greetings. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Greetings, ticket buffoon. Hmm. Uh, my name is Jerry, but okay, sir. How can I help you today? Ticket guy. <laughs> I wish to gain entrance. Jerry of ticket booth. Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, sir? Nah, it's fine. 
I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. What'd we do? I simply wish to find a fitted hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats! How much would that cost? Two dollars? Fuck. I have zero dollars. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No. No, I would not. Ah, shoot. I was so close, too. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that creep who lives in that tent next to the playground at the park? Oh no! My cover has been blown! Look, sir, I'm only telling you this because your stench is gonna drive away up customers if I let you loiter around here uninhibited for any longer. It's Valentine's Day Day to... Va Oof, I screwed that one up. It's Valentine's Day today. Villain what? Valentine's Day? Isn't that for romantic people? Honestly, with how uh, clueless this guy seems and how unhinged, I'm just gonna say he doesn't even know what it is. Valen what? It's a day designed by the chocolate flowers industry where single dads drink a ball of gin for dinner. Wait, why am I explaining this to you? You're barely sentient. <sighs> I am too. Yeah, no, I'm sentient. Fuck you. Fuck you, dude. You don't know me. I am too. We both know that's a lie. Hey, that's... Shut up. Look, sentience and drunken single dads aside, I feel like that's personal. Valentine's Day is a day for people who are... You know, in love. Ooh, okay. Love. L love? What on God's green earth is that? Is this love thing a type of feeling? I don't really do those, thanks. I like that one. Well, sorta. <gasps> Romance and graveyards. Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. There's more to life than that? Love makes want two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. Okay, I think we're both a little weird then, if, if we're using words like elixir and nectar. When two grown-ups are in love, they make joint bank accounts <laughs> together and go to the movies together to feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. Dang, love sounds pretty sweet. I can't relate, though. <laughs> Oof. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who worked in the same cubicle as you, but makes 6% more per year than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. Uh, ticket guy Jerry, are, are you okay? Are, are you good, boss? God, don't do the ooh-woo fingers at me. Don't ooh-woo. I hate this now. Literally unplayable. Zero out of ten. Can't wait for more. That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today, just for Valentine's Day. Stop oo-wooing. Two tickets for the price of one for couples who are in love. Gross. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can... I don't know. Force them to pay you in like a parasite? Granted, it'd take a real bastard to... Mission acquired. Oh god, fucking must source mate. Okay. Uh, go do that. 
away from here. Okay, me go now. Just you see, Mr. Jerry Ticket. I'll be back. With a smoking hot babe. <laughs> hey, Ticket Jerry. Are you, by any chance, free on Valentine's Day? I will call the police. No! Okay, wow, okay. Well, uh, I guess I'm going to have to uh, replay already. Mm, scuttle away. Dang, gonna have to start over in the beginning. Well, not the beginning. You know, play the route again. Dial Town. I'm hooked. God. My first YouTube video, and I'm already playing another cryptid. Excellent. Chapter 1. The Fun Fair Date. Okay, then. Ah, tent, sweet tent. Oh. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent, you know. Damn, I hate moving, even when necessary. Can't I just lay my eggs here? Ugh. Do I have to? Great stuff. Let's go lay these eggs. Um, this speaks to me on a spiritual level. Keep in mind, this tent freely occupies a relatively unwatched, pa unwatched patch of grass at Dial Town's local park. A.K.A. You are dangerously close to at least four swans at any given moment while in this squalid tent. Oh, fuck. Squan. <laughs> Squans. Swans. Would your babies really be safe in here? Ah, shit. You're right. I hate it when you're right. Friendly reminder. You can bring up the main menu at any point using the escape key, including during NPC dialogues and during player choices. This allows you to tweak options and save the game at any point. Use this if you want to do something, but feel as though it may get you arrested. Or killed. Ha ha ha. That moment when the NPC is in w within quick save distance. I enjoy a meme or two, even as a cryptid. Hanging out in the woods, in the middle of wherever I'm at. What the fuck was that? Leave your tent. Open menu. Give up on your love quest. Give up. Uh, you know what, let's just open menu. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Titus. Get the cross. Some Roman dude. Circa 33 AD. Yikes. Also, I just noticed my, my uh, mouse was on screen. I'm so sorry. Please, forgive me. Uh, back to the slaughter then. Behold the optionals. Coward. <laughs> back to main menu. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. Save your game. As if, as if there's anything worth saving. Are those... Are those coins? Are those my savings? Is this game a fucking pun? Fuck you. Refresh the inspirational quote at the top of the screen. You know what? Fuck that. Fuck, fuck the game. I just want to see what's going on here. If a demon or supernatural... Uh, if a demon or a supernatural requires you to wear socks or sandals during the summoning ritual, I have no clue who you're summoning, but he's likely much worse than Satan. Pope Phonius the Knight. You break it, you buy it. Joseph Stalin. Doggo, you really need to stop doing this. <laughs> My mother, upon finding the good cum rag. Okay, that's that's enough. We're gonna we're gonna save. Oh, save file one. Phon phonagini phonagini. Sure. 
back to the slaughter. Let's leave the tent. Where would you like to go? Actually, scratch that. To the park. To the nearby playground. To Uptown Dial Town. Uh, I don't think I want to go to the playground. Unless I'm going to look for one of those drunk single dads who's watching his kids. But that's... Nah, they get family time. I won't harass their father looking for uh, some fun time. Uh, to the park? Ah, yes, to be harassed by geese and swans. No, thank you. Uptown Dial Town. Let's go harass Jerry. Ooh, this art style makes my brain hurt. Makes my my inhuman brain itch. You know, because I'm a cryptid. Have I mentioned I'm a cryptid? A tired one as well. Ah, Uptown Dial Town. Home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in Downtown Dial Town. Sorry, I see that and I... Downtown Dial Town and I'm just imagining like a wacky inflatable tube man talking to me. So, what now? Fuck if I know. Leave the area. Open menu. Summon a local hobo. Talk to a local bystander. Uh, you know what? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna talk hobo to hobo real quick. Hobo Dial Town, I summon thee. Oh, he's. These are just people, with. Okay. Nice. Yo. Ugh, hey, nice to meet you, friendo. Wait, hold on. What's he gonna sound like? Knockoff New Yorker? Sure. The name's Hound. You need something? That's not the right accent, but you know we're sticking with it. Are you indeed a hobo? Hey, nice to meet you. You new around here? I want to inquire as to this man's credentials. Well, yeah, I do piss in dumpsters and sleep in alleyways and such, but being a hobo ain't my main gig. Yeah, thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. I created everything around you right now and farted out the cosmos and the stars and shit. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. You look like a hobo. Hang on, you created everything? Well, yeah, most things. But not everything. Well, yeah, you guys did some of the work, to be fair. You mean like building society and shit? <laughs> we do live in a society. I bet we did more to create you. Oh wait, I bet we did more than you did to create a stinky mutt. I thought we were going to get into some philosophical shit there for a second. This is much, much more antagonistic. Uh, no, nah, we live in a society, homie. Nah, not quite. The fuck you mean, not quite? You ever, like, leave a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to bin the box, only find a new species evolved from the remains of your chicken thai curry left from last month kick me I'm god nice this world is my takeout box and I'm the hungover dude gazing upon infinite possibility in disgust and awe I lost the accent there for a bit don't worry yeah it's nice to meet you I gotta get going are you drunk right now what's your favorite hobby if you're god what's the meaning of life then Aren't you afraid that you'll be arrested for standing on the road? Punch God. Can you pay me into the funfair God? Nah, I just want Punch God. Punch God. You fool. Oh, we fucked up. I am a God. How can you kill a God? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? I... Okay, I appear to have just shit myself. <laughs> Wait, is he a Scot? You win this round, three and one. What if I punch God again? <laughs> no, 
no, no. Uh, I want to know the meaning of life. You want me to come up for a reason for all this existing? Don't you remember why you created the universe? Those were the same people, I don't know. I don't... I don't remember what I ate this morning. I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. I probably ate trash, knowing me. So, can you, like, come up with the meaning of life right now? Nah, fuck that. Why don't you come up with the meaning of life? Oh, you've given me too much power. It'd probably be a million times more coherent than what I could think up. I think the meaning of life is to treat other people nicely. I think the meaning of life is to eat or eat. Life is merely a game, dear hobo. I think life has no meaning and that you're full of shit. Okay, so we have like lovely or like like nice. We have uh, anger. We have Chad. Uh, and we have douchebag. Let's go with Chad. If this is all just a game, then let me just say this is a pretty fucking shoddy excuse for a game. Don't quote me on that. Uh, okay, fine. Can you pay me into the funfair god? God, how much would that even cost? One, maybe even two dollars? You just sound like the narrator. Do I look like I have two dollars right now? Aren't you God? Don't you control reality? Darn, I guess that explains why you're a smelly hobo dog. Uh, hobo dog. Yeah, that I'm just too stubborn to live anywhere that I didn't create myself. But if you're God, didn't you create everywhere? Well, plants, trees, and shit. And we're outside? Yeah, I can take credit for that, sure. Buildings! Concrete? Don't know what you fucking onions are doing with rock, but it's blasphemy and I don't care much care for much of it at all. But you sleep on a street. There's hardly more trance trance and please. Trees and plants on this street than in let's say the park. You ever tried to lie down at the park? I swear, the bench there is the only human length surface area not covered in used syringes and badger shit. Fair. You know I'm right. Plus, concrete aside, there's dumpsters aplenty around here. Free food whenever you like it. Long gone are the days where cavemen to hunt, have to hunt squirrels with stone crossbows whenever they get peckish. Uh, can confirm, was not fun. Raccoons have already figured this out, by the way, and literally just scurry around and eat trash all day. Good for them. Good for them. Yeah, they're officially my chosen people now. You guys could learn a thing or two from those little stripy bastards. Hmm. Noted. Well, uh, in that case, some of these options are really cool, but I gotta get going, because I want to put my eggs somewhere. Going so soon, eh? What's the rush? Gotta lay me some eggs, actually. I'm heavily pregnant. I gotta pay child support to that witch I wasted years, ten years of my life with. I've merely grown tired of you. Damn. Uh, you know, we're an asshole. I've merely grown tired of you. Fair. Okay, ciao. Uh, let's, uh, talk to a local bystander. How to do, green partner? Hi, Mikey. The name's Mikey, which is short for mm. You, you good? Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine. Hey, my name's Fungin. Fon Ginji. Nice to meet you. Me Fon Ginji. Hello. 
Well, please make your acquaintance, partner. So what can I do you for on this fine spring afternoon? Hello. Can you take me to the fun fair, please? Time for me to scuttle off then. Laters. Oh, I hate it. Hello. Aw, oh, shucks, partner. I would. Don't get me wrong. But alas, I'm actually on my way to a book signing. You're looking at Dial Town's newest best selling writer. Dang, look at you. That's fine, man. I was merely trying to use you for a free ticket. Basically, I'm trying to scam a sucker into paying me into the fun fair. I'm just a sponge, you see. Mere lichen. Lick. Lichen? Licken? Licken. I know it's not. It's lichen. Pawn scum. Well, now, ain't that a coinkadink? All my, of my bestsellers happen to be about parasites of all kinds. You won't find a man who knows more about parasitism in all the dial town, pardon. Speaking of, let me know what I can do you for, because any longer and I'll be ruined tidy. Say, what's your latest book about? Hey, Mikey, give me a parasite fact. So if you're into parasites, uh, are you into me? Yeah. Pal, no offense, but I find you mildly upset into Gawcat. None taken, I get that a lot. Big mood, big mood. Though if you happen to have, say, a few tapeworms wriggling around in that old gut of yours, give me a call. Isopod food. If you do, there might be some free isopod grub in it for you. It's kind of edible. What kind of creature do you take me for, huh? You look like you probably eat what I have in my bag. You're totally right, I would. Is it kibble? Can I have some? Call me later and find out, partner. For now, is that all? Yeah, that's all. I'll let you go to your book signing. Time for me to scuttle off then. Laters. Right on then. Sayonara, partner. Okay, uh, nothing for me to do here. Oof. Uh, ooh, I could go. Dun 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 and sneak onto the subway to the outskirts of town, which is the fun fair in the woods. Sneak onto the subway to the local part, park, to the tent, to the local phone shop, to the local cinema, and to the local bank. Uh, any me let's go to the f we are phones. Let's go to the phone shop. I want to know what that's about. Why do you want wander in here, phone -gini? From Genji. A phone shop of all places? I doubt they would do repairs for people with stitched together flesh heads, you know? If that's what you're looking for. I mean, forget the flesh thing. I doubt there's any repairing whatever is up with you as of late. Something wrong? Phone Genji? Phone Genji? Phone Genji. The, the phone. Someone. Someone answers the goddamn phone! Gabby. Hold your horses, sweetie. Hold your... What's up? What are you hollering for, hon? Where am I? Is... Is this heaven? No, wait. This place is too drab for that. The river sticks, perhaps. Oh, I get you. Because of all the phone cases. <laughs> Those ain't skulls, huh? They're just empty cases. I don't understand. Do you want to understand? Well, yeah. What is this place? We're standing in the Dial Town phone store. 
Shop's near a hundred years old now. Set up by my pa. God rest his soul. Shop initially sold hold telephones, but with them being so common nowadays. Well, we've adapted to fit the current market. Not air purchase has to break, break the bank, you know. A hundred pieces sell just as good as one complete phone, I find. Same thing goes for most aspects of life, I also find. There's nothing wrong with building yourself up, bit by bit. Well, fair enough. Now, if you want to know about something specific, I'm sure I can oblige. I'm fine, thanks. See ya. Can you take me to the fun fair, please? Tell me about yourself. How is this place still in business? What kind of customers do you normally get in here? All sorts. Healthcare ain't exactly the most affordable, and often enough with something small in the head that's acting up. A rusted piece, shot transmitter, etc., etc. So, most people don't want to, or rather, can't afford to go to a dock or every small malfunctioning park. So, that's where I come in, or rather, my shop and my parts do. With a level head, all it takes is a steady hand and instructions, of course, to replace the fault apart. Of course, to each their own. I still say people should see a doc for bigger issues if possible. Anyway, that's how things have been for most of my life, but as of recently, different parts sell. What kind of parts sell now? Cosmetics. I see a lot of youngins coming in here from time to time looking for whatever pieces I don't need. Slap them on their heads and bam, you've got a hybrid head. Why? Ah, it's just them expressing themselves. The breaking down of old societal rules, old concepts. See, funny thing is, society seems to be changing with new people coming in and old people leaving. Back in my day, you were what others said you were, and that was that. Were things simpler back then? Things were cleaner, I guess you could say. You knew your role. But clean ain't perfect. Damn, woke boomer. Just meant folks were suffering and had an earshot. Woke boomer. Easy to take a beautiful photo when the trash is shoved out of frame, ain't it? Now, folks are speaking up for themselves, and people miss simple times. But times were never simple for the folk who were now speaking up for themselves, and change never pretty. Out of curiosity, what do you think? I think people should just take what they're given. I think people should seek happiness. Uh, I think I should lay my eggs in the ground, which is happiness, so... Yeah. I'm glad to hear that, friend. Gross. I've always found the idea of living in something you're not mighty ridiculous, given we have the technology to change ourselves. Humans are just incomplete masterpieces, presuming we truly can be considered as such. And art ain't never finished. It's abandoned. Don't ever give up on yourself. We can all change. Nah, I'm good. Can you take me to the fun fair, please? Believe me, hon, I'm flattered. But, nah, I got a store to manage, I'm afraid. Is it me? Nah, I mean... Look, hon. I'm sure you'll find someone who's into... Into whatever it is that you are. <laughs> Keep searching. God knows I get weird customers in here if you know where to look for them. I know one will be bound to take you, so don't give up. Thanks for the encouragement, Gabby. It has to be you. I crave elderly romance. Okay, that's a bit much, buddy. That Let's, let's dial it back. <laughs> dial. Dial town. Dial it back. <sighs> Aha, I'm punny. Yeah, yeah. Now, you gonna buy something, or... Uh, I'm fine, thanks. See ya. Alright, take care now, you hear? Goodbye.
leave the area. Yeah. Where would you like to go? Uh, you know what? I think that's a that's a nice little little chunk of time for my first go round of this game. So I think we're gonna go back to the tent. And uh, this game has honestly been quite interesting uh, and quite honestly quite funny. Um, it is quirky and weird for sure, but honestly, so am I. So, you know what? Uh, thank you all for watching and sitting through this bizarro experience with me. And uh, I hope you all have had a wonderful late night, early morning experience with me. One tired cryptid. Have a nice night, y'all.